This is our octopus tank. Can you see our octopus? Right, back here in the corner. Uh, octopus is a mollusk, like, like the nudibranchs we saw earlier and the snails. It has eight arms, octo meaning eight, so octopus, eight arms. And the arms have little suckers, little suction cups on them, so they can grab their food. They can also taste what those suckers come around this way. The octopus is a master of camouflage. You can see she's blending in very, very much like the rocks and the seaweed around her. She can change the color of her skin and the texture. So right now it looks kind of smooth, but, but cracked. At other times she might have a very bumpy skin. Some octopus can even make parts of their skin stand up like seaweed and blend in that way. For each of her eight arms, she has a tiny little brain at the end of each arm and then one that controls the whole body. So she has nine brains and she has three hearts too. One heart for each gill. So she has two gills inside her mantle back here. As you can see going into back there. Uh, so she has one heart for each gill which pumps the blood through over the gills and then back to the main heart which then pumps the blood through the whole body system. Octopus are highly intelligent they can learn to solve problems, uh, solve puzzles, mazes. They can also learn from observing, kind of like humans do. They're definitely the most intelligent of the invertebrates. That is the animals without backbones. They have no bones in them at all. No hard parts except for their eye and their beak. They have a mouth kind of like a, a parrot's beak. And they can squeeze through any opening they can get their eyes and beaks through. So you often hear stories of octopus escaping tanks and running around aquaria because they can actually get out of something unless you make sure the holes are too small for them to squeeze through. And that's difficult to do.